examples. I'm Morgan. And I'm Maggie. And this is our presentation. Generally, input is how data is received into a computer system and the results are the output. There are many different types of input output devices. Some may be for many different uses, like multi-purpose devices, while others are more specific. Input devices takes data and enters it into a computer. And computers have source data automation, which reads input data near the source in order to prevent data entry errors. General purpose input devices are used for various computing activities. The most popular general input devices are keyboards. Um, pointing devices are also general purpose devices because they're used with all sorts of devices. They select the items displayed on the screen. With touch screens, users can either use their finger or a stylus to directly select, ob select the objects. With multi-touch displays, users can use multiple fingers to manipulate and select objects on the screen. iPods and iPads utilize this technology. There are also special purpose input devices, and these are used specifically for <coughs> um, computing activities. They're becoming more frequently used than in the past just because of the changing technology and software applications. And examples of the special purpose input devices are game controllers such as joysticks, webcams, handheld scanners. And here's an example. The Wii controller is used specifically with the Wii gaming console and the webcam with the computer. Output devices allow the user to view the results of the input. Good output is always easy to interpret. Typically, these outputs are audio and visual, but more recently, virtual reality systems have been using tactile and olfactory output as well. The most common types of output are displays, monitors, printers, and speakers. Video cards translate binary data from the CPU and turns it into a picture or a video that users can see. Graphics processing unit, or the GPU, includes uh, is included in graphic cards to process graphics and take the load off of video memory, CPU, and RAM. This is an example of a video card, and they're different in the notebook and the des desktop systems. They're plugged into the motherboard, and on the notebook, they're actually integrated into the motherboard. The display allows the user to view the output on a screen. The display systems or display screens or monitors have many options, including an HDTV, which has twice the resolution, 3D displays, which uses polarization technologies, and LCD projectors that convert images from the computer to the big screen. There are also CRT displays, which read electron beams across the fluorescent screen, but are becoming obsolete because they're big and bulky, LCD screens that use liquid crystals to display images, and plasma displays, which use plasma gas. There are also LED displays, or light-emitting diode displays, which um, use LEDs to provide the backlight. They save energy, so they're considered green technology. There's also electronic paper, or e-paper, that uses electric charges to display the image. An example of this is the Kindle. Printers are a unique output device because it creates a hard copy output. The, speed, the printer speed is measured, is measured in PPM, or pages printed per minute. And the different types are laser printer, which is the highest quality. There's inkjet, photo, multifunction, plotters, and 3D. Audio and special media output devices provide output other than sight. These have become more popular with the growth of mobile media like the iPod. They might include sound systems such as CD or MP3 players or even DVD and Blu-ray disc players. Um, for the vision impaired, there are screen reader programs such as JAWS that read aloud the text displayed on the screens. Other special media is haptic output, which the user can feel, such as a phone vibrating. There are even scent domes that deliver scent output and edible output where printers print flavored edible paper. Expansions enable computers to, use, to interact with external devices. These are also called peripherals, and they're plugged into ports on the computer. The USB is a prime example of an expansion, and the 3.0 is the fastest. Expansion cards are used specifically, or are used for specialty peripheral devices. An example is wireless technology such as Bluetooth. Expansion cards fit into expansion slots located on the motherboard. There are endless possibilities for new I.O. devices. Some interesting ones that we found were a USB mini fridge, a USB mini monitor, and a USB lamp. All these require input and output to deliver the necessary information to the user.